side that I know some of them are from. This is airmen that come into our United States Air Force, 85 to 90 percent of them say that they were influenced in part by having come to an air show and seen the United States Air Force Thunderbird. So I think that's a very dramatic thing that we do here. Uh, kind of a two for one, if you will. Well, the, uh, I got one minute here, and I got to do this pretty quickly. We've got some wonderful folks here that support us. Bob Thomas, Capital City Ford, he and his wife Suzanne do a wonderful job of doing and making all these things happen. Head on! Take a look at the hoppers. They are Tim Brucci in the lead, and on the wings, Glenn Smith and Paul Wood. of this air show team to the Soviet Union. Coming from the right with a smoke on, they are dog, skids, and grasshopper, the call signs for Tim Brucci, Glenn Smith, and Paul Wood. Great, great air show smoke, great formation flying. Red Calvert coming by. The L-39, flown by the hoppers as they approach from the left right now, has a top speed of over 600 miles per hour, about 615 miles per hour to be exact. They can get up to 43,000 feet above the ground. Now this kind of formation flying looks so easy, but I can, uh, just take one look over at our military coordinator, General Worth Holt, and say, formation flying may look easy, guys. What about, what about Glenn Smith and Paul Wood? Those guys have a job that doesn't allow them to look around much. Well, as you can see, the flight lead's got a great deal of responsibility. They all have incredible skill, but it's the Wayland's job to watch their flight leader, to stay in position, to exercise extreme discipline, and to utilize those skills to stay. founded a company in 1981 that provides IT services to local. Over 2,000 hours flying time, including 600 hours at Jets. He currently owns a PT-17 Stearman. Coming in next, Paul Wood, Grasshopper, a retired co-founder and managing director of Madison One of the largest leverage buyout firms in the country. He's been flying for 16 years to the Douglas a Stranger to achievement as his wife is the former lieutenant governor of Illinois. 